In this video, how to enable XMP on Ashrock Motherboard's BIOS. In Windows, you can check the memory frequency from the Task Manager. I have RAM with a rated speed of 2,666 MHz. However, in the Task Manager, you can see it's running at only 2,133 MHz. To get the highest frequency supported by the RAM, I need to enable XMP. Let's restart the computer. Press the delete key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup page. In the BIOS advanced mode, go to the OC Tweaker tab. Change the load XMP settings to enable it. As you can see, when the XMP is enabled, the memory will run at 2,666 MHz. To view more details, click on the DRAM information option. If your RAM supports XMP, you'll see the available XMP profiles. Save the changes and restart to the BIOS again. The steps if you're using an AMD motherboard. As you can see, the memory is now running at the highest supported speed. Back in Windows, from the Task Manager, the RAM should now be running at the higher speed. In some cases, the XMP is not available and you cannot enable XMP. The root cause of this issue is that the memory does not support XMP. To confirm, go to the advanced mode for more details. As you can see, there are no XMP profiles available for this RAM. In Windows, you can check if your RAM supports XMP by using the CPU-Z. Let's download the latest portable version of the app, then run it on your computer. Go to the SPD tab. Under the Timings table, you can see if your RAM supports for XMP. In some cases, after enabling the XMP or DOCP, you cannot access the Windows or BIOS setup page. In this case, you need to reset the BIOS by clearing CMOS. Open your PC case and find the CMOS battery holder on the motherboard. Remove the battery by pulling out the tabs on the side of the CMOS battery. Wait for a few minutes then put the CMOS battery back in. In some motherboards, the BIOS battery is wired. To reset the BIOS, remove the CMOS battery 2 pin cable from the motherboard. Wait for at least 30 seconds, then connect the CMOS battery 2 pin cable back. Plug in the power cord and power on the PC. After resetting the BIOS, all settings will be reverted to the default settings. Or you can load the default settings then restart your computer manually. In case you still need to enable XMP but encounter issues, you'll need to take some extra steps. 
First, enable XMP as usual. Now, manually adjust the memory frequency to a value lower than the maximum supported by your RAM. For example, if your RAM supports a maximum speed of 2,666 MHz, change it to a lower value. I will set it to 2,400 MHz as an example. Unfortunately, there's no exact value that works universally. It depends on your specific RAM and motherboard compatibility. You'll need to try different values one by one to find the highest value at which your computer can boot normally after enabling XMP. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in next videos.